This is Aaron True. I'm here with female MMA fighter Misha Tate. Misha, you're coming off a uh, loss via decision to Sarah Kaufman at Strike Force the other day. Tell us about that fight. Oh, it was a really tough fight. I knew that going in there, you know. She hits pretty hard. Um, and that's what I expected. You know, she didn't hit any harder than I expected. And, um, you know, I think uh, the three-minute round was a disadvantage to me. But I fought as hard as I could, and I said I wasn't going to walk away, you know, leaving anything but everything in the ring. And uh, that's what I did. So I'm pretty happy with my performance. Obviously, I'm disappointed that I lost. You know, I think something would be wrong with me if I wasn't disappointed. But, um I'm just going to learn from it and uh, be stronger next time. You had two takedowns, but then she uh, realized you were just simply going for the double leg takedowns. Uh, was that because you gasped, uh, or was there blood in your mouth and nose that was preventing you from breathing? Um, well, the, the blood, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm a bleeder. I bleed really easy. Um, I always had that problem in wrestling as well, so I'm actually going to look into getting my nose carterized because... Knew that affected me in the fight. Um, she pegged me with a jab in the uh, second round. I started bleeding and um, swallowed a lot of blood. And in the third round, it was just really hard to breathe. I felt like I was always a breath behind. Um, but yeah, she kind of she caught onto the doubles, and um, I don't know why I, I kept going for him. And then in the third round, I was going for singles, and she shot from a little bit too far away. She's a little, you know, she's peppy on her feet, so. You know, she's, she's not easy to take down, that's for sure. But I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm, I think I'm the only person that has taken her down and uh, had a dominant position with her, so I mean, that says something. What was your game plan going into the fight? Did you expect to stay on your feet as long as you did? No, actually, I didn't. And I really, it was so crazy how fast the first round went by. I heard someone yell, 30 seconds, and I was like, Holy cow, I couldn't even believe that the whole round was almost over and I hadn't even shot yet. I had no idea, and so I shot immediately as soon as I heard the, someone yell 30 seconds. But um, it was too little too late, um, and, you know, I only had about maybe, I think, 15 seconds with her on the ground, and it uh, wasn't enough time to, to establish a good position or uh, win on the judge's scorecard. What plans do you have to improve your striking and to uh, alter your train, possibly? Uh, well, a couple of my teammates watched the fight, and they're like, "Oh, you look so good. Your stand-up looks awesome. You know, she just she's just a little bit more seasoned than you, is what it looked like on her feet, uh, which I think is the case. So I'm going to start going with them up to a boxing school in Tacoma uh, that I haven't been to yet, and uh, sharpen up my hands. Uh, basically, my game, my, my plan right now, I, I feel like I'm really solid on the ground. I have good positioning on the ground, uh, good scramble. So I'm going to work on my chain wrestling and my hands. Uh, I stand up and get those two uh, to where my ground is at and um, be really well-rounded. Do you have any injuries from the fight? Injuries, no. I, I'm not, I don't have anything besides bumps and bruises. And I actually thought my face was going to look a lot worse the next morning. But um, I got up and I had... There's a little bit of bruising over my right eye and um, a little bit of bruising around my temples and uh, minimal swelling. So I was actually fairly surprised that I wasn't more banged up. But uh, other than that, no, I'm 100% fine. Do you still want the fight with Kim Kator or what's next for Misha Tate? No, I don't really care about that fight at this point in my career. I don't think I have a, a whole lot to gain from it, um, just besides that she's a name. Um, but, I mean, if she wants to fight me, I guess that's something that she can pursue, and we can work on it from that, but I'm not, I'm not going to pursue Kim. Your male fan base has been growing um, every fight you have. What do you want to say to your male fans or to thank them for their support? Oh, yeah, just a huge thank you. I just... The fans after the fight were phenomenal. I had so many people coming up to me, even though I had lost, and they were just, um, I could just tell they were happy, and they wanted to see me back, and the support that I felt from them was incredible. It wasn't even my hometown, but they were so amazing that it felt like I was almost fighting in my hometown, and uh, that was awesome, and people that have been contacting me um, after the fight on MySpace and Facebook and congratulating me. Um, it makes me feel really good and um, a lot more motivated to get out there and show them that I've got even more than what they what they saw, um, and I'm going to keep continue learning and progressing. And the next fight that they see is just going to be better and better.
How would you rate your performance on a scale of 1 to 10? Because you did have a couple takedowns. You're the first person ever to make it through an entire fight with Sarah Kaufman. So overall, it was an exciting fight. And it was back and forth there for a little bit. Uh, at the end of the first round, when you got the takedown, it started to build momentum into the second round. So how would you rate yourself and your performance? So, I think maybe like an 8.5 or a 9. I think there's always room to improve. I don't think I would ever give myself a 10 out of 10 just because um, nobody's perfect. But I, I'm pretty happy with my performance. I think I could have stuck a little bit more to my game plan, or, or at least sooner, I guess. Um, but like I said, the three-minute rounds go by so fast. And I think I show that I have a lot of heart and determination. I can take a punch and keep coming. And uh, that's exactly what I plan to do. You know, it's uh, another loss on my record. Uh, I'm not thrilled about it, but... Um, I did a lot of really good things, and I'm a generally a positive person, so I'm just looking at what I did right and focusing on that and um, just looking to improve on what I did wrong and learn from that. Uh, I guess hindsight is always better than foresight, and um, it's just going to make me a better fighter. I always learn the most about myself when I lose. So. You mentioned earlier that uh, the rounds were three minutes, that they're too short. I also agree that the female MMA, depending on the caliber of the fighters, if it, in this case yourself and Sarah, that they should be five-minute rounds. Uh, are you a big proponent of changing that, and what steps can females take to make that change? Yeah, I am big on changing it, especially after this fight. You know, before I was like, well, you know, just kind of, I'm happy to be out there. That it, even though it's three-minute rounds, I don't want to be too, you know, pushy about it. But um, I think that there's a, it kind of cost me this fight. Not to say that I, I definitely would have won. Um, because you, you never know, but that's just it. You never know. I, I got her down right at, at about the, around the two and a half minute, three minute mark uh, in the first round. And had that been a five minute round, maybe I would have, I think I would have won the round because I don't think she would have gotten back up and uh, would have been working to control position um, like I had done in the second round. Um, pass her guard, maybe take her back. And uh, same thing in the second round. And I finally got her down, got her in a good position, and she's scrambling trying to get up. And by the end of the third round, I was just pulling her back down to the mat, and I, I had secured a back position pretty well. Um, you know, maybe I would have got the choke in the second round, or maybe I would have won on the scorecard in the first round, and um, maybe the, maybe I would have won the fight. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it's unfortunate that we don't know. Well, Misha, it was a great fight, and uh, your fan base is growing every day, as well as the fan base for female MMA. This is Aaron True here with Misha Tate. Misha, thank you for the time. Yes, thank you so much.